I thought that you were my friend. How often do we say that in our own friendships? A lot. Sometimes we say it because we are upset and we feel a friend has let us down. Sometimes we say it because at that moment we realise that this isn't a true friend at all. Friends have arguments no matter the age. You could be entering primary school or you could be graduating. You could be starting a new job or you could be retiring. Often arguments are caused by the smallest of things. For example, you forget to wait for a friend at the bus stop after school and they get annoyed and make a snarky comment, which then escalates into a drama. But sometimes these arguments can be on a larger scale, like an act of betrayal or a lie. Some people say that friends who don't argue are not true friends at all. In a way, I agree, but only up to a certain point. Do you have a friend who you argue with all the time? Well, maybe the truth is that you don't have much in common with that person after all. Spending time with a friend who constantly winds you up is annoying. In the end, perhaps the friendship is likely to just drive you both mad and fizzle out altogether. Now, if you have a friend who you never argue with at all, well, that's suspicious too, right? Are you really able to be yourselves with each other? Do you genuinely agree on absolutely everything and never have a single disagreement? It sounds unrealistic to me. So, we all know friends argue. It's just how we respond to an argument that tells us whether the friendship is a true one. There's a famous saying, Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. In my experience, I think it's untrue. Words can be so painful that they can hurt even more than sticks and stones. We need to be very careful what we say to our friends, because once you've said something, it can't be taken back. The words you say are like toothpaste. You can easily squeeze as much toothpaste out of the tube as you like. Have you ever tried getting it back in? Say you've got your GCSEs coming up, or a job interview you need to prepare for, and one of your close friends suddenly says something rude or spreads a bad rumour about you. This could not only distract you and ruin your day, but it could potentially ruin your future if you let it get to you. If a friend is being unkind to you, definitely don't be unkind back. But also, don't ignore it or show that you are hurt, because then they think they've succeeded in upsetting you and will carry on. One of my best friends once told me that the way to make hurtful comments stop is to kill them with kindness. Imagine says someone says to you, your nose is big. All you have to do is bite your tongue, turn the chi charm on, smile, and say something nice back to them. Like, yes, I know my nose is big. Your nose is really nice. You're so pretty. Well, I'm sure that person will think twice about saying something rude to you again. Sometimes it's us that own the wrong. Yes, it's hard to believe, but it's true. We say something without thinking, or worse, to deliberately hurt someone. It's not easy to admit that we are wrong and apologise. Pride gets in the way, and your pride could be the one thing that prevents an easy solution. We all know that feeling. The longer you take to say sorry, the more the other person feels hurt and confused. The longer it goes on, the more the problem grows, and gossip doesn't help. Let's face it, we all gossip. Maybe unintentionally, maybe for the excitement, but it always leads to trouble. Gossip is like Chinese whispers. Person A says something small about person B to person C. C passes it on to D and D to E. Each time, the story changing and becoming more and more exaggerated. Eventually, the story will get back to person B in a very hurtful way, and they'll confront person A, leading to a massive drama and confusion. That's the thing with gossip. It spreads quickly because everyone wants to feel like they're in on it. But we need to remember that there is always that victim somewhere along the line of whispers who ends up getting hurt. Social media makes this worse. It's great to communicate with friends and family, to keep up to date with news, to swap photos, videos and music. But it's too easy for social media to be used negatively. How does it feel when you're left out of the WhatsApp group that everyone at school is talking about? 
don't even know who they may be talking about. There must be a reason why you're not included. Mustn't there? Well, no, not necessarily. But look how easy it is to make someone feel excluded and upset. Friendships can be the most important things in our lives. In fact, the friendships we make now may well last all our lives. We need each other to confide in, to laugh with, to cry with, as a shoulder to lean on. We need to learn to work at our friendships, not to take them for granted and not betray them. So we never need to say, I thought that you were my friend. We can always say, I'm so glad you are my friend.